Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. When President Donald Trump intervened to secure the release of three college basketball players who were arrested in China for shoplifting, the father of one of the athletes refused to thank the president or even give him due credit for ensuring that his son did not spend the next decade in a Chinese prison. Now, a mother whose son is also jailed in China is speaking out with eight words for President Trump that put Lavar Ball to shame. Earlier this month, during the president's 12-day trip to five Asian nations, three freshman UCLA basketball players were caught shoplifting on a team trip to Hangzhou, China. Fortunately for Lee Angelo Ball, Cody Riley, and Jalen Hill, Trump interceded to secure their release, calling the president of China and diplomatically requesting that the three young men be sent back to the U.S. to be dealt with at home. Rather than offer his sincere thanks, though, Ball's father had the nerve to insult Trump upon his son's return stateside. The disrespectful dad mocked the president when he was asked about Trump's influence in getting his son released, saying, Who? What was he over there for? Ball furthered, Don't tell me nothing. Everybody wants to make it seem like he helped me out, according to International Business Times. Lavar Ball doubled down on these remarks, even after the resulting backlash, telling CNN, it wasn't like, Trump, was in the US and said, OK, there are three kids in China. I need to go over there and get them. Then, I would say, thank you, if he would have put them on his plane and took him home. Then, I would have said, thank you, Mr. Trump, for taking my boy out of China and bringing him back to the US. In the wake of Lavar Ball's incendiary comments, another parent has come forward who, coincidentally, also has a son who was arrested in China. Antoinette Brown has spent the last 14 months on a quest to get her son, Wendell Brown, released from a Chinese jail. Brown claims her son was attacked one night when he was out at a bar for a friend's birthday party, but that he was the only one arrested in the aftermath of the fight. After having a hell of a time trying to help him, she pleaded with Donald Trump to intervene, saying that she most definitely would thank him with no problem. When it comes to the parents of athletes who have found trouble abroad, consider Antoinette Brown to be the anti-Lavar Ball. She has been on a 14-month-long quest to have her son Wendell Brown released from a Chinese jail after an altercation at a bar. Brown says her son was attacked by a beer bottle, and the incident got him in trouble with the authorities. Brown appeared on Fox and Friends to tell her story of trying to get her son out of Chinese jail. President Trump intervened when three UCLA basketball players were arrested for shoplifting, explained Fox and Friends co-host Pete Hegseth. He helped them return home safely. The father of one of those players downplayed the president's help. Another mother whose son is stuck in China is pleading for President Trump to help her son who has been held in a Chinese jail for over a year, added co-host Griff Jenkins. She says she would never stop thanking President Trump for his help. Mother of former Ball State linebacker Wendell Brown, Antoinette Brown, joins us now, said Mally Line. I cannot imagine what it's like to have a son trapped over a season in prison where you can't see him and get worried of how he is doing. If you could just share with us a little bit of this story about how he ended up going to China and ended up in this situation, she continued. He ended up going to China to help a friend coach the doctor's football team, explained Brown. And he was also teaching English to the teammates that didn't know English. He had been there for a year. And he ended up going to a friend's birthday party at a bar and he was attacked by a group of locals throwing bottles at him. And unfortunately, he was the only one arrested after the attack on his life, she added. Antoinette, let us give the floor to you here right now, said Jenkins. What would you like to say to President Trump right now? Asked the Fox News host. I would humbly ask for him to help my son that's in an unfortunate situation, Brown responded. And I would be truly grateful. And most definitely would thank him with no problem. This provides a stark contrast to Lavar Ball's ungrateful attitude. There are those, like Antoinette Brown, who would literally do anything for a little help from Donald Trump, and she would be rightfully grateful.
Let's make this go viral. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. World News.